we are so privileged that you have come. And the very exciting part of it is what that the the Khans is it called Khans? Yes. The Khans Film Festival was started in your by your uncle. Yes. So you're such a part of the movement of cinema, mm -hmm. world cinema, mm -hmm. and the Khans Festival. And today you're sitting in Khajuraho Festival. So we are so uh, honored and delighted that you are here. Sushmita, stop it. It's my honor to be here and to be your guest for the second year. Last year I love it so much that, you know, I had to come back. Thank you. It's a very special place. When you say there is no theater in Kajurao, in fact it's not true because you have the best theaters of the world and the whole world is coming to admire what is Kajurao. Mm. So if you entrance Kajurao after um, Gandhi Chok, there is another chalk mm. and there is big stones. Mm. And on one of the stones, it's written that Kajirao, that was written about 40 years ago, mm. in one will be as famous as, you know, at the time of the beautiful temples. So I think what you have started with Mr. Raj Bundela and you and all your team, to bring the cinema to rural audience, right. it's something absolutely magic. Mm. Because it's yesterday you gave me the privilege to open the talkies. Women's, the, the, women's tapra talkies. Which was absolutely thrilling because to see the mixture of the very old conservative women of Kajirao, mm. you know, old eaten and dressed up and shy. With the wheels and yes. all that, yes. And then to see the children and the young girls who are maybe 14 or 15, 15 right. and would now go to school. Mm. And of course with internet they know everything. Mm. So they don't still have it, but they know it exists. Right. And thanks to you, you are bringing them this international culture. Mm. So it's through art, as you know, that uh, a society can have an evolution. Right. And, and in fact, you spoke about, they asked you, um, tell us you're from France, tell us about Napoleon. Yes, it was <laughs> wonderful. I was suddenly, you know, in the middle of Kajal, Napoleon, what is he doing there? Because in history, yes. they must have read it. Yes. So it, they, they, I think they were in class 11 or class 12. Yes. So they wanted to know about the boy. And then so beautifully, you told them about the, uh, the suffragacy the yes. um, revolution of women, yes. you know, and how mm -hmm. women changed um, the rules. They said yes. we have a right to our bodies, we have a right mm -hmm. for abortion. Mm -hmm. So you spoke so beautifully to them. Well, in fact, if women are strong enough, they are always mm -hmm. the ones who are changing the rules. Right. Uh, so they are just to make up their mind and to decide. Yeah. Remember, you know, in the antique world, in the Greek yeah. <laughs> mythology, when they say no, not a single man is going to touch us if things are not changing. Yes, yes. So, you know. Yes. So, it's there. It's, it's a kind of a revolt that, you know, we are not going to succumb to your desire yes. for us yes. if you don't follow certain um, uh, patterns that we want you to yes. follow. Yes. So, it's that yes. thing which you saw in the dance yes. yesterday. Yes. And, you know, yes. I was translating for you because you were speaking so beautifully and they were just looking at you like this in awe of this lovely lady who's come from France mm. and they've never seen somebody so close, maybe as a tourist, because Kajra is a tourist place, but to, for, for you to take time out and come and talk to them and encourage them and fill them with vigor and say, you know, you're a woman, you have power, they were like this and then you danced. Yeah, it was wonderful. <laughs> Made it so easy yes. for them. What would you be like to be remembered for, uh, you know, when we are not in this world and we are the generation that is now coming? What well, would you like to be remembered for? Of course, yesterday, you know, at the woman place, when you put all the big uh, pictures of the women. Achievers. Who are, achievers. Yeah. Of mm. course, Mother Teresa is mm -hmm. still one of the most incredible figures. And when you travel all the world and you see so many, you know, uh, misery, you would you want mm. to do something, but yes. we, we have not the capacity to be Mother Teresa. Yeah. But I would like to be remembered as someone who has helped to put bridges between cultures. Mm. And uh, because I've been, I discovered India in 1977, my husband was a filmmaker at the BBC, mm. and he was making documentaries, and he was making a wonderful series called Spirit of Asia. 
and it was the story of the Ramayana. Mm. So coming to India in 77, 30 travel, years ago, yes, mm. and traveling <clears> in all these wonderful places, the series David Attenborough was doing the voiceover, and it was absolutely uh, mesmerizing because it started, of course, in the Himalayas. We shot all the big events and festival in India, but also Thailand, Malaysia, Burma, and we ended in Bali. Mm. because Bali was where they were respecting the most Hindu traditions. Mm. So it was uh, for me <gasps> breathtaking, you know, to discover your culture. Mm. So I've always been very, very close to it, but of course being an actress like you, I was on stage all the time, mm. I was shooting and all that, mm -hmm. I had no time to come back to India. And it's only in, now I'm going to tell you about my private life. You have to, you have <laughs> it's to only when I was um, 94, I left my husband many years ago, and I was with someone else, and we didn't work as well. So you know, I was very depressed at the time. I was working in London, and um, I had a yoga teacher, and my yoga teacher told me, oh, "Marianne, you have to escape. You have to go and do a retreat, a yoga retreat. Otherwise, you are going to get mm -hmm. neurotic and mad." And at that time, Goa was not, it was just the hippies. Uh, so, but there was a very, very good yoga class. So she sent me to, to Goa. Mm -hmm. And um, I did this yoga retreat. Funny enough, uh, that's another wonderful story. You <laughs> love it. I love, I love it, I love it. Yeah. Uh, when I arrived, you know, it was just the sand, and they told me it was on Tito's Lane. So here I was with my little bag, and I went to, to, to the. Um, to a place and I saw uh, uh, the name of a small little hotel, uh, Yaza Samudra, so I, I went into that place and um, it was run by a priest and in the morning he was going to church and at lunchtime he was becoming a businessman with a t-shirt and shirt and it was money, 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 so he saw me and he could speak a bit of French and he saw on my passport, actress. I said, oh, I know where to put you. I thought, well, my yeah. God, this guy is completely mad. Yeah. And in fact, he put me on a small little hut on the beach. And next to that hut, next morning, you know, I went to bed early because the, I went to get my yoga things and all that. And um, the next morning, I made my cup of tea and I was looking at uh, the sea just before going to the yoga class. And I heard a voice saying, far out, isn't it? Far out is a expression from, you know, America. And I thought, my God, I didn't come to India to have an American man telling me far out. <laughs> and, and I turned my head and said, yes, it's very lovely. Would you excuse me? Mm. Then I finished my things, took my yoga mat and locked my door. Mm. And at the same time, he was locking his door. And he started saying, uh, sorry, I didn't introduce myself. And I said, no, my name is Richard. And I looked at him. It was Richard Gear. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> so you see, whatever I do in oh India, wow. I'm followed by. <laughs> <laughs> so we did the yoga class together, yeah. and uh, I discovered yoga. Mm. Um, I mean, what go, a lovely go story! Say, the yes. handsome Richard Gear, uh, yes, the actor. He, he came mm. for the Dalai Lama <clears throat> that year. Yes, and, yes, yes. Um, because he was also very close to yoga and yes, culture. Oh yes, oh yes. He, he did the same uh, mm. yoga class. So it was absolutely amazing. Oh amazing. My God. So since 95, I've been coming to India just every year to do a bit of yoga. Mm -hmm. And it's only a few years ago that I decided to change my life and to, to live a few months a year here in India. Mm. And uh, by accident, um, I bought a small house in Goa and uh, uh, I thought I would never, you know, work in your country and do anything. I didn't try, but one day a friend of mine rang me and said, Marianne, would you rent your house for a young director who is doing his first film? They don't have much money, he's from Mumbai, but the script is very good. I said, yes, why not? Wow. He went, came to see my house. His name was Sandeep Mohan, and um, in fact, he didn't get my house because it was too clean, he wanted to do one house, but I told him, oh, I know, I know which house where to take you. So I completely changed his locations because I knew Goa very well. And then after two days, he said, Marianne, I haven't cast the uh, second lead of my film. It was with uh, Ash Chandler and Shanas Patel. And he said, 
if I adapt the part for you, will, wow. you, will you do it? I said, yes, of course. My God. So I did my first little appearance in a film here, which was called Love Wrinkle Free. Mm. And after, um, of course, this film went to many festivals. Right. And a close friend of him called Schlock Sharma mm -hmm. show, uh, saw me in the film and wrote me a beautiful, beautiful uh, part with Uday Chandra. If I'm telling you the, that story, it's because one evening, mm. dear Tom Alter mm. was shooting a film with Schlock Sharma. Mm. And you know what it is sometimes after the shoot? You are in the, the restaurant yes, and you look at things. Yes. And, and then uh, Tom said, with who are there, you know, veteran uh, Indian actors did you work? And he said, oh, last year I worked with uh, Uday Chandra. Mm. And he said, oh, I can show you the trailer. And he showed the trailer to Tom Alter. And after one minute, Tom Alter said, stop it, stop it, who is she? You know, he was very like that. And he said, well, she's a French actress. She, I need her, I need her. <laughs> because he had a play. Oh. Uh, written by Salman Khurshid oh. called Max My Word and the play he hasn't was unable to do it because he needed an actress who was at the same time my age mm -hmm. and who could be on the second act uh, a student at Oxford University wow. you know it was a bit like you know uh, Sonia Gandhi I mean it was a beautiful part and I've been working with Tom yeah. wow. and we played uh, in Mumbai and in CPA and we played in Delhi at Sri Ram Center and it's been wonderful and fortunately uh, he offered me another play to do in mm. January and uh, he's not here anymore mm. but he's mm. with us yes. he's on Puri and all these yes. great great wonderful actors so thank you Tom because I mean you know for a French person to play on stage in India. Yes, Whoa! Wonderful. Absolutely. Wonderful. Imagine if I got to play a French role in France. Yes. It would be just like yes. that. So as an actor, I know it. I'm you're probably so happy. And it's a privilege for both, for them and for you. Yes. And so it's so lovely. So you'd like to be really remembered as, uh, as a bridge. I love that, Marianne. Yes. I love the fact that you are the bridge between two cultures. You know? And it's the reason I love your festival so much because uh, you are a bridge between the cinema and you know the rural audience mm. and here you are starting everything mm -hmm. and it can develop to an incredible incredible festival because um, it's um, it's only also through rural people that you can get the new stories for your movies um, I give you an example. Yes. Why the lunchbox was mm. such an international s success? Because it's a basic story yeah. from India, but the rest of the world, you know, know nothing about this mm. lunchbox and the, the way, you know, it's. So it was done in a very simple way, mm. and it was fantastic. Mm. So sometimes your films, you know, it's always the same love stories and all mm. that, and the gangs and this mm -hmm. and that. But it's lacking, the heart of India. Yes, yes, it's lacking of the real simple story. Mm. And here you can get them. I'm sure that if you have workshop yeah. every month here yes, in yes, Kajirao yes, yes. and you develop, you know, skills amongst all these... Uh, you know, yesterday, Bayan, you were telling me something very interesting. Now, you know that we are doing this workshop. We have to, it's, it's called Project 72. So there were these four of us, me, Meeta Vashish, the actress, Professor Manohar Kushlani he teaches media in Triple IIT Delhi. Rakesh Sahu, myself. We did this for 72 hours is four days. So we, we, we sourced 40 um, inspired children who wanted to be part of a film, uh, you know, advocacy film. They were aspiring to be film actors, film directors, film technicians, mm -hmm. but mostly all actors. Mm -hmm. Because from a rural place, Mumbai, they've come from Mumbai, glamour, we want to act. By the end of Project 72, they were able to make two, uh, two or three minute films in camera editing. So we, they were taught, you know, from, through slides and through projectors, the technique and craft of the pedagogy of filmmaking, you know, so the, the cut, the, the camera, how did it start, the move from, from the first camera to, uh, to, the, to the editing, lots and lots Wonderful. of information they were given. Meeta Vashish did a body work, you know, with the actors. 
and I did some face work and some I I, I bridged uh, the, the the film with theater, you know, kind of mm -hmm. put it together. So we had little things, and the end of four days. First of all, the children said, "Oh, we came to be actors now. I want to be a director. I want to be a producer." <sighs> you know, so they, they they changed their thinking. So when I was telling you this yesterday, I you said something very beautiful about how in France you had this um, the, the the children making these films with one big actor who would come. Yes. Just tell us something yes. about it. Well, it's someone called Patrick Georges, and he has started something called Les Cours des Cours d'école, which is the shot shot in a courtyard. So they are they all, are all shot in the mm. courtyard of a school. Mm. Uh, it starts like that. It's only five minutes uh, mm. long. There is mm. always a social message right, in it. Right. Um, they go to the school about two or three months before the festival, and uh, they ask the children to write stories. Mm. Then Where do they source these children? Who are these children? Well, it's either you know very basic schools mm -hmm. or very posh schools. Okay. Okay. They like to do just, you know, uh, different schools. Okay. Uh, because, in fact, uh, films are for everybody. Right. And right. it's very interesting to see mm. how the same stories can be developed, mm. you know, at mm. different levels. Right. So it's, uh, it's, it's really breathtaking when, when, mm. when you look at the films. Yeah. So it's written by the children. Okay. Uh, directed by the children, acted by the children. We only provide a camera, who is doing also the sound. Okay. And uh, in the story they have written, there is always, you know, one actor. Right. So we always ask um, before the festival to mm. either it can be a woman or a man, depending on the story. A famous actor. Of course, okay, of course. Okay. Um, if he would be give two hours of his time, you know, of course free, mm -hmm. to appear with the children. Every actor say yes. Because, you know, they know they are going to bring so much joy to the children. Right. And it's not uh, squeezing into their program and now they are guests yes, of the festival. Yes. And, and, you know, it's so wonderful to to see all these children loving you, and mm. it's, it's fantastic. They all love it. Mm. So we make those little films, and of course, because they are with famous actors and with the children, it's magic. So how does it look like the the, the, the children and this one famous actor, for example? Yes. Uh, give, just describe the scene for us. Well, one of my favorite was um, the story of a little girl. Um, uh, who arrived late in the school, and then the school teacher, who was played by Mars Villalonga, who is very famous in France, um, uh, the teacher said, well, we have a newcomer coming today. I introduce you, I don't know her name, you know, let's say, uh, Sushmita. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And she comes into the school, in, into the room, and she's wearing a mask. So, you know, children don't like to see difference. Mm. So. Children can be very cruel, mm. so they look at a little girl, and the poor little girl sits in the back, and you can see, you know, she's shy, and she has complex, and all that. Then, when there is a bell, and they go outside to play, she stays in a corner, and she's very sad, and all that. And the second part of the story, it's only five minutes, but it's very well done, is that uh, the teacher said, now, come on, come back, it's done, the <laughs> game is finished, huh. and they are late. Huh. And the little girl is alone in the back of the mm -hmm. room with her mask. And all the other children are not coming in. And suddenly you see all the children coming in. And during the intercession, you know, instead of playing and all that, they've been making masks. So all of them have masks. And they come in the school. And then suddenly you see all children laughing behind their mask. And you can see in the back that, you know, She's happy, and suddenly, you know, they are all equal. Oh, sweet. So, you know, yes. it's wonderful. Oh. Mm, okay. So, one teacher and these children and a story yes. in one place. Yes. That's yes. so beautiful. Yes. That's so amazing. Yeah. Oh, Marianne, that's lovely. And... Uh, no, I'll send you the... I'll, we'll send you all the links, because it will be nice, links. in fact, to redo exactly the same story, but in Indian schools. There are exactly. plenty of little uh, yeah, stories. Yeah, and, and because work. we've already started work with them. Yeah. In fact, I'm just wondering if you are in Goa 
and we want to now continue with this thing you know every yes. two months mm-hmm. if may perhaps you can take out a day or two to come and absolutely be with the children absolutely. And, you know train yeah. them yeah because we're all doing this because this is a little seed which is now been planted yeah. this, the trees this much mm-hmm. it has to grow we yes. have to help yes. it you know absolutely so please tell us uh, uh, i wish i had more time for you maria but this was so amazing um if you could just try if you would want to tell us a little bit about your experiences with khajrao festival then and now and uh, if you have suggestions and if you have uh, anything to say about your experience here at khajrao festival. well as i say first of all i have to say thank you to india and to yes. mother india yes. to invite me to all these wonderful festivals and uh, khajrao is very special to my heart because first of all there is no traffic <laughs> no pollution <laughs> yes, uh, yes and uh, every place is beautif- beautiful and uh, what is so special is to see the shows at night which has mixing all the culture and it can be you know uh, the mad bollywood and uh, the very very classical music mm-hmm. everything is there and what is also amazing is to see that the audience is there mm-hmm. no one else in india you will gather such a big audience which are not going to move because sometimes you know some mm. people it's not their cup of tea yeah. this cup of tea. no they stay they are mes- mesmerized mm. they see everything so you can feel their potential mm. and uh, because of that uh, this place i mean this festival can become really uh very very important it can uh, attract international films yes the only problem area we have is that there is no literacy so if you show a very very advanced beautiful festival film yes. they're not able to grasp it what do you what do you have any suggestions about that well i mean it will come okay so it will take about let's say 10 years right right but you know the young girls who are now 12 13 of course they are going to be totally uh, open to any other things but uh, already you know just you took me to two days ago to see this film about poetry mm-hmm. uh, this uh, director from benares yes it's a very tough film yes. and i saw there will be no one in the audience mm. but the people were not moving and they were watching it mm. so you know it's not because it's different that they can't take it it's just because they've never seen it before right so it's just a little doze yes. and then yes. wow so you you actually think 10 years right i was thinking longer wow thank you that's no. awesome yeah no. and uh, i already said my little uh, dream you know when you dream about uh, what will happen in 10 years time yes, in kajirao yes. i hope that somewhere Uh, you will still not uh, build concrete things yes. like uh, the rest part of india because india has been spoiled but here i don't know by which miracle they kept it beautiful right. so obviously if this place is becoming a very big international film festival you'll have to build a proper cinema so i just hope that and i'm sure you will because uh, you have wonderful taste what would be the dream is to make the facade as a temple beautiful and idea. instead of having the kama sutra uh, figure you will have the same sculpture because they can still do it as yes. well as yes. 2000 years ago yes. uh, when you go everywhere i mean the art is there yes. but then you will put the face of all the very well known yeah. actor and actresses <laughs> you know still in the sculpture beautiful so idea so the facade will be a temple mm. and inside it will be very modern and that's so, our temple too yes, that's yes. it so and of mom. course with a big staircase and the big red carpet that we can <laughs> and one secret about gan the reason uh-huh. it's still exceptional it's because they force everybody to have a dress code and to be you know at night no one can go uh, if they are not in in black tie ah. so what will be nice in the future is to make sure that everybody is in traditional indian <laughs> costumes yes. because uh, that too you are losing uh, 
the beautiful taste of India. Right. Uh, I mean, at other places, you know, I go like to Like the eat. way I wear my sari go, like this? I know, you, you are fabulous. <laughs> the, the, the man, everybody, you are fabulous. But, but I mean, the men especially. Men, men, yes. Men, uh, women always make an effort. Yes. And look classical mm. but the men because you think that uh, you know t-shirts and jeans are yeah. big fashion mm. if you go to ify i mean it's, it's disgusting you know on stage at ify they're all dressed with t-shirts and and yeah. there's, the, there's the, no there's no um uh, not glamour there's no weight in that well I mean, do... i mean you have the best fashion yeah. in the world for men and women the nehru jacket you can't yes, beat it yes yes Uh, when I see Ogandra, you, you know, with his wonderful outfits, it, it's magic. Yes. And the Jodhpur, yeah, it's, it's, it's wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. He's so, very classical, right? Sorry, I'm very classical. Yes, yes. yes. But uh, thank you. Thank I'm you having so such a wonderful time here. And uh, you have to be with us. You're part of our team. So nice talking to you, Marianne. And before you go, please write a few words 